All right, so I'll just let's control I'll just sort of go through. Now, most of the time it is staying on track. Uh, it's just that uh, with the motion of the camera, it sort of is scrambling these pixels. So while the track is actually accurate, the computer's not sure that it is accurate. The computer is worried that it's going off track because all of these pixels are changing color and they're all shifting into strange patterns. And so uh, it's thinking, I think I've got it right, but I, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but when we look at it and we sort of look at these pixels around it, we can sort of say, yes, no, it is, it is actually on the right track. So, we're, so we'll leave that there. Now I'll just come to this point and make sure that this is at the same uh, at the same point that it's supposed to be. I'm just going to track forward from here. And here we go, this is our first little bit of red. And so if we come here, um, again, it's more or less just the computer sort of worried that um, uh, it's gone to the wrong place. Uh, whereas in fact it, it's pretty pretty much still spot on. So what we can do is we can just reassure the computer we can just sort of put it in the right place and say, yes, you're doing a good job. Just keep on going. Uh, that didn't really help with our yellow track there, but we'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll just uh, do the track forward from this point. You can see that we are sort of slowly ironing out any kinks. I'll just go to the end and see how we're going. And uh, just at this end point, I might, uh, I might put in this track. And uh, again, I'll change this to an end point. And I'll do the full track here. You can see we're more or less just shuffling these uh, these yellow spots around. But just sort of uh, pull the playhead backwards and forwards. And for the most part, I'm just, I'm quite happy with that. Now the computer may complain and say we don't have as good a track here as we would we would like uh, because we've got all this sort of yellow here. Uh, but as long as the tracking point um, is in the right place, it should be fine, and uh, it should be able to sort of uh, work out from this um, what the scene is doing. Uh, now, uh, and I've deselected again. Uh, so you can see that we have uh, four tracking points now. We have one here, one here, one here, and one here. And uh, what I might do is just to sort of get um, get a good sort of uh, planar tracking point thing happening. Is that I will go to this end point, and I'm just going to again click on this window. I'm just going to uh, shift and right click on this corner here. Uh, and I could probably go down a little bit there. And um, now the, the reason for that is that you can see that we have the top of this door here where it meets this pillar, the bottom of this door where it meets this pillar, the top of this other door meeting the pillar, and I'm now going to track the bottom of this door meeting the pillar. And that will actually set up a nice sort of square plane here that we can uh, we can use uh, for our coordinate system. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to this, this tracking point and make sure track 5 is selected. And I'm just going to um, track backwards from this point. And uh, like the other um, points of this uh, of this type, just like this one up here, you can see that our tracking point is pretty much spot on all the way through. And that will give us um, this nice sort of uh, rectangular panel that we can we can use for for determining our coordinate system. Uh, now um, one thing that I am doing here is that all of the tracking points that I've picked so far, are more or less on this plane, the plane of this wall here. Uh, now this will cause us problems with um, with our tracking and with our 3D view uh, because uh, it doesn't have enough depth to really sort of determine uh, the rest of the scene. Uh, so what I might do is try and find some 
some points which are off this plane uh, that we can track. And uh, the tracking point that I'm probably going to pick is one of these rivets here. Now this raises an interesting point uh, in that um, Okay, the bottom one is a better contrast, but the top one stays closer to the center of frame all the way through. But even there, you can see that you can hardly see it. Uh, now, this raises an interesting point in that if this were After Effects, uh, these would be ideal tracking points. Um, it would uh, be able to track uh, this point and the area around it and determine uh, where this is and basically keep this, this sort of fuzzy dot in the middle of all of the pixels that it's, that it's tracking and it, it will work it out. Uh, unfortunately Match Mover isn't quite that robust and so what it will do um, is it will try and track the exact center pixel and it will take in the rest of the information of what, are, what is around this rivet uh, and it will, um, I call it a rivet, it's a bolt. Uh, it will take in that information as basically being a suggestion or, or basically being an, uh, in an advisory capacity. It won't, uh, it won't calculate um, based on this uh, with as strong uh, an influence as just the, the actual pixel that you put it on in the first place. Which is why these, these right angles are so... Um, uh, so much better than, than these points here. Uh, but as an example of um, perhaps what not to do, uh, I'm just going to give it a try and let's see how we go. Uh, and I will pick this top one because it does uh, stay in the, uh, in the center um, or stay in the middle of the, uh, of the scene a lot longer. You'll see that the bottom one is, is very close to the the bottom of the, the frame there and so we'll have tracking difficulties. Um, and I'll just track back from this point. You can see that I've put it right in the center of this bolt. Uh, so I'm just going to track back and we should see, yeah, uh, right here it says the quality is too low. Now don't panic, this will happen a lot. You'll have this um, happening all of the time and uh, basically what it means is that when we come to this point um, everything is probably just really blurring out um, and it seems to have uh, picked uh, a fairly good sort of uh, shot there but when we get to here you can see that we're getting off that bolt and so now it's starting to track this point it's uh, determined that this is the point that it wanted to track and it's and it's trying to uh, work out where this pixel is um, all the way back through the beginning of this timeline uh, which of course becomes impossible uh, around this point because it's just another brown pixel and so it'll just uh, it'll probably fly off into space uh, well it doesn't fly off but it, it, it is it's it's sort of losing its way uh, so what I might do is um, uh, I can either come to the beginning of this red point and um, and uh, tell the computer that it is fairly close to, to where it's supposed to be, or I'll try to be lazy and get away with doing as few points as possible by coming right back to this beginning point where it says that the quality is too low. I'm just going to move the tracking point to here. And it may, because this is um, the the white sort of uh, pixels or the or the grayish light brown pixels here um, it might be able to sort of go oh yes these are more contrasty than these pixels I'll I'll track from this point uh, so placing it on that point I'm just going to do a whole track now okay and it doesn't look like it fixed it up I'm just going to track back and yeah Yeah, it looks like because if you look at the frame where it's where it's lost tracking quality, and I'll just I'll deselect uh, the tracking point itself, um, and you can still see the little tracker there. Um, if you look here in the magnifier, 
Uh, this is the last frame where it's where it's certain that it knows what it's doing. If you go back one frame from that, you can see that we have lost a lot of that contrast because, again, it's out of focus and we are moving the camera. There is this sort of this this motion blur happening. Uh, and so, just going to this point, I'm just going to go back a couple of points. You can see it's really sort of lost focus. But I'll just put the tracker back on that point. Um, and I'll do a forward and back track there. And what I might have to do is actually do these tracks individually, which is basically like rotoscoping. Now, rotoscoping is what they did before we had all of this automatic stuff doing things for us. And uh, what that would, uh, that would mean is that somebody would actually have to come through and each frame of film they would have to uh, update or draw on the film to determine where, where a point was. And uh, this is how they did the lightsabers in, in Star Wars before, you know, they started doing everything with computers. And there we go. And so you'd have some poor guy whose job it was to go through frame by frame uh, and just sort of uh, decide where the, uh, the lightsaber was. And... Um, I didn't click right there. And then, are we still? No, we're not on that track. And uh, and he'd basically go through with uh, with a well, in in this case, a black pen because he'd be marking it on the negative, not the positive. And uh, he'd have to basically draw in lightsabers. And so, um, if you think your job is bad. Imagine having to do that. Um, but you can get a sort of feel of uh, of what that was like by uh, having to uh, having to draw in these tracking points. Now you can see that we are sort of uh, uh, we are slowly building up a track here. But what you might find is that it just takes too much work. And if it ever is too much work and it's getting too confused and everything's sort of uh, going the wrong uh, the wrong place and um, and the, the pixels just aren't working for you and it's just uh, it's just not trackable you can either end the tracking point at a certain point or you can just come down to here and just delete this track uh, and so it seems like that was a, that was a wasted lesson because uh, uh, we spent all that time tracking this point only to sort of eventually get frustrated and delete it. Uh, but that is a valuable lesson because some points uh, just aren't trackable. And, uh, and those points you just have to let it go. You just have to, um, you have to be able to sort of say, no, that's not going to work and get rid of them. Because if you don't get rid of them, uh, you'll be stuck with bad data. And it will take that into account when it's uh, rendering your scene or when it, when it's determining camera movement uh, and trying to uh, align the camera movement to a bad track will throw the whole thing out um, so yeah just remember you don't have to track um, all or you don't have to struggle to track um, a point that uh, that just isn't going to work uh, so what I'll do is uh, between now and the next lesson I'm going to go through and I'm going to track some more points in this scene and uh, hopefully get uh, a better point cloud. Uh, and uh, with that done, I'll just sort of run through and uh, show you the points that I selected and, and how many keyframes I needed. Uh, and then I'm going to come back and uh, we're going to work on the coordinate system uh, so that uh, the, uh, the computer and so that Maya knows which way is up and which way is left and right and forward and backwards. And so uh, I'll see you for that lesson.